What's up, J-Bays? It's Vicky J, and I am a day early. Why am I a day early? Because Solomon and I are taking Nala apple picking tomorrow. So welcome me, welcome you to my channel. If you are new here, I want you to go ahead and click that red subscriber button so it turns from red to gray and then makes you a J-Bay. J-Bays are the best bays on YouTube because they are my bays who tune in whenever I upload to chit chat and all that about luxury beauty. Today, we are talking about, will I buy it? A Samantha March original. And uh, this is my first time doing one. Hi everybody, hi Nika, Dr. Randy, hello, Fernanda. Yep, Fernanda, shy, ew, hi, <laughs> here I am. And I just came in, um, dropped off Nala with the uh, grandma of it all, hello Roberta. And um, I made a quick little stop to, um, I, I had to exchange something. So um, I made a quick little stop. I really didn't, I literally got two things, you guys. It's nothing special, fancy, new, anything like that. But what I did do is buy two of the four new uh, blush duos from Mr. Wayne Goss. So did you guys get yours? One o'clock was the release. I posted um, the link for y'all to buy. Did we get our things? Who got all four? That's what I really wanna know because I, I just couldn't trust the um, I couldn't trust the swatches on my uh, fairer skinned friends <laughs> for those lighter ones. Hi Linda, hello Nazmo, welcome everybody. Um, so I finally got the Dior face and body. Yay! <laughs> in six in, just like my other foundation, my other Dior Forever foundation. Ta-da! I think it's a good match. It looks great to me. Super excited. I can't wait to try that. Want the coral one? Yeah, yeah. That's how I was feeling too. I don't want to get caught up the way I did with Patrick Ta on the coral. Um, B Devani, is that how you pronounce your name? Hello. All right. So Shy bought the, uh, said she bought one. Which one did you buy? I also, because I really like these and I already have one, I bought another one from Ilya, the Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oil. And this is the one in Saint. Okay, 4.5 in, yep. Th the next stop for me, this is Saint, and I already have, let me pull out my other one, because I have the purple one. And yeah, I bought this one, which is called, which one is this called? Where did I put it? Oh, okay. Maybe Violet. So this is the one I originally had. And this one is kind of a corally one. This is super pretty. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, it feels like balm when you rub your lips together, but it's, you know, liquidy. So since I just have the clear Marc Jacobs on, just the coconut line, I'll go ahead and, yeah. Oh yeah, that is it. Mm -hmm. mm. Actually, I didn't have the coconut one on. I had um, the lip glorifier from Clay to Pro on, but whatever. This is pretty, oh, that's perfect. Oh, okay, you got the uh, Azalea one, it sounds like. Shy. I bought the Azalea and Poppy. Those are the two that I bought to answer Nika's question. You know, I'm really looking forward to the NARS um, lips that are coming out. The matte lipsticks, they're like powder matte. So here's the violet one, you guys. It's a little bright, but you know, it shears out. I like it still. And um, I also had a sample of another shade. I think I showed you guys, it was like way too light for me. So I let Nala use it as her little lip balm. And that one is, let me get that. That one is called um, Only You. So we'll do a little swatch of that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you, Devani. Thank 
you very much. Oh yeah, me too. I'm looking forward to it. So this is, yeah, you see how pale that is? It just isn't working for your girl. Oh, thank you, Shy. Thank you, I appreciate that. So those are the three I have. I just love, like, as you can see, it's thin, it's like, it's not sticky, it's slippery, if that makes sense. Mm. Yeah. So those are the, um, what are they called again? The Balmy Gloss, they are perfectly named. Bright Poppy, that's great. Um, yeah, I think that one is going to be really popular because the poppy one has the gold highlight. So I think that's the one that most uh, most of us melanated people are going to gravitate towards. Did they? Where's my email? <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. Because I ordered two minutes after. Okay, I put my stuff in the, the, on my wish list. Yes, I did, Natasha. I put my stuff on my wish list. I clicked on there when the alarm uh, went off and I said, boop, boop, check out. <laughs> Real fast, so I better have a shipping. What? Shot and got me hot. Hold up. <laughs> Hi, Joy. <laughs> I um, let me see. What have you missed? Um, honestly, we're just talking about the um, Wayne Goss blushes. Who picked up what? And um, you just got your email. Okay, let me see. Um, looking past myself uh, at my laptop here. Go on the Gmails of it all. Let's see. And these swatches are the Ilia Balmy Glosses. I am. I sure am, Nika. Let me see if it's in the promotions tab before I freak out. Mm -mm. I don't see it. I don't see it. Mm. Anywho, whatever, it's fine. So it'll happen when it happens. I am. I think it's really gorgeous. Um, I mean, I don't feel like it's a rush to buy kind of deal. I don't think it's, you know, but I do think that it's different enough, you know, because it's cool, cool and neutral that um, if you're looking to round out your collection, then, um, you know, I feel like it's worth purchasing. So totally happy with my little, itty, my little mini purchases there. And what is this? My receipt. Yeah, I don't need that. I ain't returning nothing. <gasps> Rugged glam. Hi, love. Oh, yeah, me too. Oh, my goodness. Did you get any? And um, Rugged Glam has a channel. It's all luxury, you guys. She has this, like, sh uh, luxury shoe series. Um, she reviews a whole bunch of amazing luxury goods. So check her out. Definitely check her out. They gave me these hair gummies. You know how to give you samples when you go in there. That's what I got. Okie doke. <laughs> Hi, Gigi. Okay, you want to fail you. Hi. Dawn is in the building. Hello. So, yeah, there we go. Face and body, finally. And um, I'm going to put some stuff on my Macari. I just have a few things. I mean, obviously, 090 from... Um, Clay to Poe. If anybody wants it, just, you know, hit me up. Let me know. Now, is there stocking your candles? Ooh, is there holiday collection? Oh, my God. Okay, and Suku is releasing their holiday collection on the 1st. Mario's releasing their collection, uh, their brand on the 1st, like launching their brand. I'm covering my mic. <laughs> Mario's launching his brand and um, Byretto. I hope I'm saying that right. Byretto or Byrito uh, or Byrito they are also launching their makeup line on the first. It's a lot going on this Thursday. <laughs> Seriously, though, I'm like, yeah, everybody calm down, all right? <laughs> but um, it's all good. Hi, Chantel. Sure are. Um, so this is, oh, I'm sorry, this is B90, y'all. We don't put this on. We don't put this on together. You know, 
Um, what am I thinking of Mario stuff? I am intrigued by the mixing of like that, the five pan palette where you mix the products. I also saw that in addition to the neutral palette, Hey, you guys, I'm back. Sorry. Um, I did, Dawn. I picked up the Azalea blush and the Poppy blush. Thank you very much, Magic, Magical Mom. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Oh, gosh, the Tom Ford. I'm there. I'm there because I love Sylvain Edge. I, lo I lost all of you. I'm very sorry. I got a call from the hubby. He just got to the laundromat where I dropped off Nala. So he's just letting me know. So I was supposed to go to Trader Joe's today, y'all. I got sidetracked at, at Target because, you know, Nala loves Target. <laughs> and so, um, anywho, I just wanted to show you guys. I'm going to do a quick little, um, quick little swatch. I hope you can still see me, actually, before I start doing that. Can you guys let me know if the stream is still going? Okay, awesome. I'm back. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm back in business. Okay, so here, and shout out to the SP Nation, you guys. Um, he's an OG YouTuber. He does um, luxury beauty reviews as well. And he sent me both of these. So shout out to him. <laughs> Big old shout out to my boy. So this is B90. Oh my gosh, I can't not even. Oh, okay. This is B90. And I'm going to do... I'm going to do the other one too, just so you can see the difference. This is 090. So B90 and 090. Look at that. Look at that huge difference, huh? Where the little nap can go. Anyway, there's the huge difference. So if you are, you know, somebody who is a warm neutral like myself, um, this is way more, mm, there we go, way more golden, golden olive. It's not just golden, golden olive. And then this one here is, for me, it's more of like neutral with a touch of warmth in it. It actually matches my face and not my chest. It's a very big difference. So I really wanted to take the time to show you guys this. I can make... 090 work as I showed you in the video because I, you know, got my little magic tricks and such. <laughs> but I'd rather, you know, have this. And it gives me more coverage. I just rubbed it on with my hands just on half my face just to see how it looked. I'm putting it on anyway, so you're going to see it in a sec. But yeah, I just wanted to show you that. Um, also, I wanted to share with you guys because you seem to enjoy my hauls when I get things for Nala. We went to Party City because um, the plaza that we went to for Sephora was, um, it had a Party City. So Nala saw that there were costumes and yeah, for sure, Scorpio Kima. Yeah. Yes, it is. Um, next shade is 100, O100 100 and B100. Yeah. So if you're like a full shade or two darker than myself, um, try the, oh, I'm sorry, try the 100 and see, you know, if it works for you. Now, real quick. So my daughter loves Halloween. She watches all these different little zombie things and, and trick or treat things and on her, uh, on her tablet, right? She loves it. Thank you so much. I am going to show you some stuff that we picked up. We went to Home Goods and Marshalls. There's like a Home Goods and Marshalls uh, duo um, nearby. Hey, Lee Jo. What's up, girl? She is going, Rugged Glam had a question. What is Nala going to be for Halloween? Well, she's going to be a bat queen. That's what we figured out. <laughs> um, Linda wants to know, do I prefer Clay DePoe over La Mer? Absolutely not. I do not. I think they're that Clay de Poe is a lovely foundation, but it does have a, in my opinion, the fragrance on Clay de Poe is stronger than the one on La Mer. I feel like La Mer provides more coverage. 
Um, but they're both matches. Like, I feel like Lemare matches my chest and Clay DePoe matches my face. So the match isn't an issue. They're both really nice. I did get the um, Clay DePoe. I got both concealers. I got the liquid, um, the liquid concealer with the pen, and I got the stick concealer. I like both. I think they're both really beautiful. I love the shade Nutmeg in the concealer because it is like a color corrector. I think it's really dope. I like the consistency of it. I think you get a little more coverage with the stick. So if that's what if that's what you need, for example, if you have um, like dark under eye circles or something like that, then hi Colleen, welcome. Then you can um, you can get like um, I think maybe nutmeg would work for you, Shy. I know you're a little bit lighter than myself, but I think for a corrector, nutmeg would work for you if you get it in the stick. And then you can just top it with like a slightly brighter shade to um, you know match it up with your skin tone. <laughs> yes. So let me show you guys what we got. Um, I'm going to bring out the, the biggest part of it. <laughs> it smells like alga syrup. I never heard of that. Oh. <laughs> so it's, it's attached to a memory for you, Kima. I understand. So this is part one of the costume, right? Let me back up a little bit so you can see. There we go. And here you can see all the little bats on the tutu. And again, this is from Party City. All the little bats on the sparkly little tutu um, that I believe has a drawstring, or at least I'm hoping it does because, you know, my baby got a little waist. So <laughs> there's that. And then it has this little bat headband, which I think is cute, but she wanted something else. So we're just gonna... We're just gonna take the, the tutu from that piece there. And then we've got, we've got some bat wings here with the sparkly purple detailing. Yes, yes, we're gonna be real original out here. <laughs> She's gonna be the only one. And maybe have a, like she won the contest last year um, for best costume and she was a pineapple. And she, the year before that, wait a minute, am I remembering this correctly? I know she was a pineapple her first, was she a pineapple or a pumpkin? I can't remember. Anyway, she has won two costume contests. <laughs> Just, my baby won two costume contests. So we are really going for it this year. Um, anyway, so here's the wings attached to her back. So there's her bat wings, but super cute. And then here's the, here's the piece de resistance. Cause she's a bat queen. Here's her tiara. <laughs> I feel like she can still wear one of the one of the headbands. I feel like because she's a bat queen, she's gonna need a bat up, you know, her bat wings. And then in the front of the bat wings, we'll try to make it work. We'll figure it out. She's gonna have her crown. Cause I'm gonna throw it up. She's gonna do an afro. So then we can hide like the little band for her, um, her bat wings and look like it's really coming out of her head and then put her crown on top of that. I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's the move. Um, we'll probably do some black tights and I think she has a black turtleneck. So that, that will be her top because it's going to be a little chilly. So we'll do like a black turtleneck and some tights, like lined tights or something like that. And then some cute black boots. And then there she is. Isn't that adorable? And she picked it out. She picked it out. And then check this out. She insisted on a, a, a bucket. You know, they had other bags, but she wanted the bucket. So we got a pink pumpkin. That was the closest we could get for a match. So that was fun. <laughs> and then to top things off, she got a PJ mask balloon on the way out. So yeah, yay party city. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that is it. Um, for what we picked up today. That was my Sephora and then Nala's Party City for her costume. So let's get some makeup on. First things first, I got to clean my face because I've been out in the elements. So I'm going to wipe down with one of these little pads here. All right. I know, I'm, I know this is about to be dirty. It's going to be filthy. And this just lets you know how gross our atmosphere is. Watch this. Ooh. 
yeah, look at that foolishness. Like, ew. Yuck. Chicago, what's up, girl? What's up? How you doing? All right, it's gonna go down the nose. Okay, one more time. <laughs> Def, definitely. I don't know, because I didn't really look at, um, I didn't really look at it. I'm excited for the melt review too, Leah. It, uh, my my package arrives on Thursday. So I'll try to get that up depending on what time my package arrives. I'll try to get it up for you on Thursday. Um, but if not, definitely Friday. Okay, so I'm going to use my trusty. Can't live without it. Bail mineral primer. This mm, looks so good. Little Grand is here. Hello, girl. Oh, this is so nice. Mm. Pam's here. Hello, Pam. I think we're good on that. So, looking, choosing my weapon. Oh, okay. There it is. Why not? Since we're using clay to poe, we're going to use the clay to poe foundation brush. Yes, yes. Cream stack will be gifted to your friend. Oh, that's wonderful. That's perfect. Hi, Cassandra. I'm so glad you can make it. Wow, that magnifying mirror is just entirely too far away for me to work with right now. So fancy it is. Oh, who am I? Who am I? Let me shake this up. Hi, Maya. What's up and welcome. Welcome me, welcome you. All right, so I'm doing, starting off with um, two healthy pumps. There we go. And then... Yes, it is. This is B90. This is a new color. I mean, would you just look at her? <laughs> I was just so happy at how, like, how much better of a match this is. I love you back, man. Let me tell y'all something. This is something I really need to confide in you guys about. The other day, I was hit up by another one of our beauty community girls um, and asked to do something with her um, that was just really touching that she thought of me. I do not have olive undertones, um, Aisha. I thought, oh, I'm sorry. I don't have um, olive undertones at all. <laughs> um, it, it is definitely the lighting. This is B90. Um, I did a little bit of a swatch um, just before you came in, I'm sorry, um, of O90. And O90 is the one that is olive. It's called ochre, but it's olive golden, basically. Um, and this is B90, which is like, it stands for like beige or pink slash red undertones, which is closer to what my actual face is. And... I'll turn down the exposure on the lighting so you can see how good the match is in comparison to what I was working with before. All right, ready? So that's nicely blended. I'm going to turn down the light. I'm going to turn it off, as a matter of fact. So you see? Much better, much more realistic to what I, and this is just one layer, right? Much better than what I was working with in my Clay Depot review, where I had O90 on.
And I don't think I really need to go much further than that. I can color correct to, um, you know, cover up anything else. I don't really like to do too much foundation these days. Thank you very much, Kiwi. So yeah, I do have the stick here since we're doing clay to poe. I'll keep it clay to poe. I just want to grab the pen and lean over here. I believe the pen is right here. Yes, it is. All right. This pen is in nutmeg and I use it as the um, color corrector. I'm trying to do this like, if I lost my train of thought, remind me, please. Because <laughs> I'm like trying to make sure I answer everybody's question. A little more than that, honey. There we go. But as you can see, this shade is definitely a corrector shade. This is nutmeg. Um, I know SP Nation recommended cocoa for a skin tone um, concealer for me. And I think that'll work as well. Uh, I'm going to do this around my mouth too. I sure am. Um, I'm going to, I'm slowly placing orders, you know, with all the different releases coming out. That one's going to take me a little bit. And I wanted to give you guys an update on the meetup for those of you who are able to make it. I'm going to do it for my birthday. I'm going to Boston for my birthday as I normally do. And let me see, I want to use a different brush. Ah. Yeah. Going to Boston for uh, my birthday to do my, um, you know, birthday shopping because that my birthday falls every year. It falls around the, the second VIB sale. <laughs> Love you right back, Shy. That's what it was. I was confiding in you guys. And I just wanted to thank you, <laughs> Shy. Um, and I, when, um, when this particular influencer asked me to do this um, project with her, I got like super emotional. She doesn't know that I did, <laughs> but I did. I cried. I sat there at my desk and I cried because this year has been so not great, <laughs> you know, for me um, and for a lot of people, you know. And so, you know, I'm trying to keep up with everything um, online as well as like in my regular life and working from home and all these different changes and just kind of feeling isolated a little bit. Um, still being a new mom, still being a newlywed and my saving grace or the thing that I look forward to the most is interacting with all of you. This keeps me sane. And the fact that I also have a positive effect and other people see that and want to work with me because of it, it just really touched me so, so much. And so I just fully bawled my eyes out <laughs> sitting at my desk and just gratitude, just full on gratitude. Oh, Colleen, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I keep missing um, the, the right comment, but oh, I'm so glad. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Aisha, totally. This has been such a great opportunity, you know, for not only like growth and stuff, but just reach. That's really what it's about for me. Inspiring people, um, developing a community of support and um, being an escape. We need that. And I saw a lot of you respond to that incident in my vlog. I knew you'd understand. Thank you. I appreciate that, Kiwi. Thank you. Yeah, it's been really great. Now you see what that did? It doesn't look like I have corrector on. No, not at all, Renee. Mm -mm. Not at all. This feels very lightweight. Thank you. And you know what? Because I have this um, hyperpigmentation here. I'm going to put a touch of that corrector pen. I really like, I swear by this. I think I said in my Clay Depot video that this was my favorite product. I'm going to use this in, in lieu of just adding more layers. 
Thank you, Laugh Happy. I'm going to put your comment up here in just a sec. When you have your right shade, this foundation is gorgeous. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's, it's hitting. <laughs> it is definitely hidden. And, you know, I mean, you can definitely layer it. It does layer to like a medium full. The cost of the pen, if I'm remembering correctly, was in the 60s. It was either the... I'm trying to remember which one was 58 and which one was 62. I can't quite remember. Um, but the stick and the um, and the pen are hefty for found, you know, for concealers. It's a little high, not gonna lie. I was like, ooh, girl. So there we are. And that gave me just the covers that I needed. Just like, oh, <laughs> I love this so much. I really, really love this if you don't get nothing else if you don't want to get this foundation that is fine you know it's just as nice as other foundations there's nothing uniquely special about it that means that you absolutely need this one but girl oh my goodness thank you Renee thank you um I'm gonna double check for you right now actually Pam give me just a second yeah now it looks perfect this is I didn't even put brightening concealer on yet. I just put the corrector. It blended in gorgeously. Like it does not look like I'm wearing corrector. It just evened my complexion. It's such a nice tone. The, the nutmeg concealer is such a nice tone. It has just enough of that color correcting property. And something else that does as well, if you don't want to spend 50 some dollars on a concealer, because I feel you, okay? If you don't want to do that, I get it. 30 something for umber umber has color correcting in it as well more orange than salmon but it has enough coverage <laughs> there you go it has enough coverage to still do the same thing as the pen this is just a slightly um a slightly thinner consistency but they both blend out beautifully but these both color correct in addition to concealing I just want to show you the difference in the undertone. They do. Um, Shy did mention that Nordstrom has a clay to post sale. So there you go. That's the link I'll use um, once we finish our live here. Y oh, Yaya came through with a word. I hope everybody's getting their vitamin D. I have to take my baby outside every day or she will drive me insane. So I have been getting my son. <laughs> <laughs> I've been definitely keeping track of that. I also have um, an iron, iron specific anemia, so I have to take vitamin D. All right, all right. Um, yeah, Nala's probably going to end up on television. Yeah, man. Uh, let me put this comment up because yes. Yes. <laughs> I usually, when I come in, I may take my toner actually is what I usually do. I take my toner um, and a cotton pad. Wipe it down. Wipe it down. <laughs> All right. And here's how the uh, brush is looking. You know, it's just, it's, you don't need the brush guys I just did that to be extra because I wanted something else it's a it was a want it's not a need it does not change the ability to apply this foundation honestly if you have a densely packed foundation brush you have this brush just saying because this was like $67 or something something crazy um it's not a life-altering brush but this is a life-altering shade <laughs> I love this shade, y'all. I look so good. I look so doggone good. But um, I'm going to throw this on Makari. Along with a few other things. So um, I will post on the community board when once I fill that up. So now let's get a little more concealer on, shall we? Just a little brightening on the inner corner. I'm going to use my smaller... Um, Pat McGrath concealer brush. And I'm going to, this is the shade Toffee, which is right before Nutmeg. 
they they still need to work on the range in my opinion but you know whatever um this is gonna go right in the brightening area the usual spots so i'm just rubbing it on there i'm not even really paying attention to exactly what i'm doing because i don't need to it's gonna spread it's gonna blend so beautifully yeah it does it's like a what is it called again? It is a um, radiant fluid foundation matte. So it is a radiant matte. Like it's not overly dewy, um, but it's, it still allows your skin to have a natural glow to it. And this is a fairly thick consistency, this concealer, but it blends out seamlessly, like incredibly so. This is another one I would say if you get nothing else, you know, these two. Ooh, yes, ma'am, Shy. Let me throw that up there. I absolutely would, Shantae. Yes, get the duo. Get the duo. Because they're both just, they completely altered my life. <laughs> um, Kiwi. Get that, get the um, pen and nutmeg. Please do yourself that favor, girl. And if you're lighter than me, they do have um, another corrector shade. So I'm just slightly pushing this um, off on the sides to struggle with the dark circles. <laughs> yeah, my aunt, um, my aunt also struggles with a lot of women in my family who are, are lighter skinned, um, struggle with the under the dark circles or like, I guess that's like the blood vessels being more noticeable. I don't know. Oh, thank good goodness. Um, shy that they've improved the swatches so that you can, um, you know, make it a more informed decision. I mean, they got to know that that's very necessary these days. Okay, Pam. Um, I'm trying to think of what th the differences are consistency wise. La Mer is a little bit thicker. Um, so you do get more, more coverage faster with La Mer. Um, the wear time, they both claim very long wear time. They both have fragrance. You know, you decide which one you like better. Um, they are both comparable in price. La Mer is 120 or 125. And this is 130, so they're not. There's not a huge difference in price. You get the same amount of um, product, and they're both luxury brands. So, um, and they both have skincare in them. So there's not there's not that much of a difference between them. Finish wise, I would say that La Mer may give you just a touch more matte. If that's like something that's important to you, you know. Let me put a little bit of this um, in my lines here. And we saw how easy that blended out. I wasn't like struggling to blend at all. They, they, all the products play well together. Okay. Dark circle of purple. So I would say Kiwi, um, you'll need more of an orange undertone um, to balance the purple. So for more coverage, I would actually suggest the Hourglass Concealer. Or if you definitely want Clay de Poe, get the stick instead of the pen. Because the stick is a little bit tighter in consistency and it will give you more coverage. All right. So we are complected up. <laughs> I'm feeling real good. Okay, Lee Joe, thank you for coming through. I always appreciate you guys um, popping in to say hey. All right, so next is time to powder. So I think under my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and stay consistent with mother. And then um, for the rest of my face, I don't know if I'm even going to powder. But if I do, I will probably use um, probably use by Terry or something. Something that will still give me a hydrated look. Yep, that's me. 
medium. I know which one is medium out of my um, powders because I have used it so much that I have completely worn off all the labeling. The one that's deep still says deep on it. <laughs> Y'all. Woo, I love this powder. <laughs> I love it forever and ever. Oh, let me grab this again. Nope, I'm grab the big one so I can hurry up. What determines if I powder or not? Um, how long I'm going to be wearing it and what the finish looks like. So if I feel like it's too radiant, then I'll powder. If I feel like I'm going to be, you know, sweating and need that extra insurance, then I'll also powder. But if the, for example, if I was using like Chanel, hi, J Chronicles. If I was using Chanel um, Ultra Latente, if I was using Dior Forever Matte, if I was using Burberry Matte, you know, if it's already matte, I probably won't powder the rest of my face unless I'm trying to like, if I, I'm using a finishing powder like uh, Gucci and I'm just trying to blend things together, then I'll go ahead, go after that and spray um, to make sure I don't look powdery. Yes, I am. Uh, as a matter of fact, I want to get crochet sister locks for the winter. So I'm going to let the back of my hair catch up with the top so that I can get some straight backs <laughs> or get like a crochet pattern so I can do some sister lock crochet. I think that will be hella cute. And I still want to keep this brown shade because I really like it. Uh, yeah, it is. Looking, looking super as natural as possible is really what's happening right now. Mm-hmm. I think that um, that's what we're after these days. New trend. <laughs> Elenia, hello. Hello. Oh, are we? We must be cousins because your last name's James and so is mine. <laughs> so I'm powdering down the center as well. Oh, my God. This is truly seamless. Like, I'm so, so into this right now. Honestly, truly. <laughs> Please do. It's so like warm and cute. I love it. Blue Mercury has become something that I'm like obsessed with. In, in addition to um, Olivella, I believe is how you pronounce it. Right? So I need a powder brush. Duh. Let's do that. Let's take my fluffy girl that I love so much. And I'm using the Hydra Powder. Just a little dusting of something, you know? Truly really not a lot. Just to catch it up with the rest of me. Hermes lipstick. Um, I didn't even order yet. I'm trying to decide if I want them, you guys. <sighs> They're so basic looking. <laughs> I, I thought we were going to get more than this. I thought they were going to give us a few more. Remember when we were talking about that? I wasn't, I don't know. Especially with everything else that's coming out. I just don't know if I want to spend $250 on three nudes. Or th like two pinks and a nude. Just for packaging. I am absolutely not getting Supreme. I do want to um, go for the Christian, the new Christian Louboutin sort of shimmery lip glosses. I love their glosses. They're so thick and opaque. And of course I love the packaging because I'm a, a packaging whore. So yeah, but there we are. Just a little dusting of powder. I feel like the complexion is coming together. Um, I'm gonna throw the rest of my powders on and then we'll spray down and we'll give that a second and um, see how we're looking. Sheer to medium coverage, a little bronzer blush, and that's it. I love a natural look. And I'm also planning to do a Suku video. 
a Suku video is coming, full face. I'm gonna take the plunge and get the shade 160 as one of you did suggest to me. Hopefully, you know, boom, boom, gang, gang. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. You know who did get it, y'all, y'all? Um, Kelsey. And she also, she did a really great video showing like 10 different lipsticks that could possibly be dupes or are comparable to the Supreme lipstick. So check that out, please, please, please. That was very informative. Thank you, Shahina. All right, so, oh, and along with my Beautylish order, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I got the 7W so that I can use 9N with 7W from our Perfect Shade in the Danessa Myricks. Okay, I just lost my train of thought. What, am I, what are we doing? We're doing contour and all that good stuff. So still, uh, still up in the powders. I'm gonna bring my powder drawer over. De Delight, welcome. I'll put these back since I'm done with them. And yes, grab my contour. My favorite, my fave, I'm gonna, put it, I'm gonna put this down right here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God help us all, for real. Because them resellers are ruthless. <laughs> I can't take it. I'm never doing that again. I've, I've fallen prey to that and I will not do it again. It's just not worth it, man. Mm-mm. I don't, um, I don't have any Lisa Eldridge. I know you're talking to Jay Chronicles, but I don't have any, but I certainly um, plan to get some, plan to add some to my collection because I am a lipstick lover. I love having options to shop my collection. Mm. I'm trying to decide if I like the way these Ilya lip balm liquid lip balms feel in comparison to the clay to lip glorifier because that is a freaking sickening luxury balm it is so nourishing it is it has such great staying power like the way it like kind of locks onto your lips man there you go alania Alania, sorry. Yep, that is the truth. Um, Sweet Shay, welcome. I um, I don't know yet. I don't know yet if I'm getting the Hermes lipsticks. Maybe if my husband decides he'll give them to me for my birthday, because I don't want it. I don't want it. Um. J Chronicles, I don't know what you mean by which one. Like, I don't know what I, what I was talking about when you asked that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Doing the deets on the By Terry powder. Oh, please buy it, Maya. The Hydra powder is absolutely beautiful. Oh, goodness. Look at that contour, honey. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, Leah. She's, I'm, I'm definitely adding that to my collection. I think for my birthday, I'm also planning to um, buy some more Sephora Pro brushes because as far as synthetic brushes go, that's honestly the only company I like. <laughs> I've been with them for so long. You know, you just get used to a certain thing. Oh, what am I doing? I always contour under here. Looking at my complexion in, purp in purpose, in person, <laughs> makes me giddy how like really great I look. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm just saying this, like, oh my gosh, this is so nice. The difference and the lack of like layering I needed to do, um, you know, just having the right undertone made such a big difference in the coverage and in the performance of this foundation. I just really like it. And I'm trying to add, like decide if I'm even going to uh, bronze, but I think I will. Mm. Yeah. 
you know what else? I was watching, um, I was watching Jackie's maintenance video and she did the, um, she did the eyebrow lamination. I'm here for that. Cause I have curly uh, brow hairs as well. And when they curl over, that drives me nuts. Cause then I have to go in with like the eyebrow scissors and clip it and blah, blah, blah. So I think I want to try brow lamination. That seems like it's fun. <laughs> Happy, thank you. I'm gonna take this little fluffy brush since I don't have anything on it and I'm gonna bronze with Gucci. I'm just literally, I have my powder drawer in front of me. And um, by the way, you guys, I know you're waiting on the part two of my collection and we'll do that maybe Thursday. If I don't get my um, package on Thursday, we'll do another, um, we'll do another collection video. Okay. So you guys know I, I have the darkest shade in the bronze there from Gucci. And I love the smell. I'm obsessed with the smell. Foundation is Clay de Poe. For Zumba, uh, Zumba Gold with Salima. Okay, so Salima, there we go. Uh, it's the Clay de Poe in B90. I did the review with O90 and it was the wrong undertone. So we're doing B90 to show the difference. D is here for the brow lamination. Yes, the Gucci bronzer is just gorgeous. Oh. And I'm just going along the perimeter of my contour just to go from that cool to warm. Same thing over here. Now, you know, I'll do this thing that we're doing these days. All the, all the, all the YouTubers <laughs> are just dusting a little bit over the eyelash perms. Well, I'm not comfortable with chemicals that close to my eyes, but I bleach my brows. So to each their own. If you feel like that's safe, go for it. Whatever you need. Because I know some people have very curly brows. I mean, lashes. So, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm very happy to hear that. Thank you, Maya. Letitia has done the um, eyelash perm. Yeah. I have like kind of in between lashes and some of them go whatever direction they want. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> kind of annoying. But um, I have to curl my lashes in order to get all of them to be the same uh, because some of mine are kind of like straight and some of them curl up. So maybe I could get a partial. partial. I don't know. But I think we're done with powders. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, spray down now and look what I've got y'all ah! <laughs> finally right I've got the um, airbrush flawless setting spray my store was sold out of the full size so I just said all right fine you know this will this will do OD because you know I'm a YouTuber and so I'm going to just use this brush to pat it all in. I don't know what else I'm going to do. Like, am I going to do eyeshadow? And if so, what am I going to do? I don't know. What is your skin type, Salima? Because both, as I mentioned earlier in the um, chat, are very comparable. Um, they both have skincare. They both come from brands that specialize in skincare. They both um, have, you know, similar shade ranges in terms of like the, you know, they could do a little better. <laughs> Some of them. Both are very similar in price. Um, Clay de Poe is slightly more expensive. And um, in terms of finish, I would say they're a little bit different. 
So Clay de Poe is a little more towards normal. Then I think, and do you have any skin issues such as like hyperpigmentation or redness or anything like that? Do you have things that you really need full coverage for? Because for me, hyperpigmentation, is what I've got right here. You think they have more shades? Okay. Um, cause, okay, so 37 shades for... Okay, so Saliva, I would uh, recommend Clay de Poe. I think it's, um, you know, it's more, you can get away with more medium coverage and shear it out a little bit easier than the La Mer. It's a little bit, a little bit thicker. Um, it's meant to be full coverage. So um, if, you know, and they both wear for very, very long. Wait a minute, duck fries? That sounds like, okay, so duck is bomb, first of all. Duck is delicious. Um, how are we doing this? I want. I need a visual. Is it smothered? Because, oh, man. See, now y'all got me on a tangent. There's a place in Boston at the Prudential. Well, it used to be there. I don't know if it's still there. Called Flames or Flamers. I can't remember exactly. Um, they had these chili cheese fries, y'all. And they made the chili in-house. Colleen wears sepia. Oh, I love it. And I'm Sienna. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, laugh happy. You have a good evening. Yeah. But I've also told everyone, Salima, um, I'll just put her, her comment up there. I've also, ooh, duck fat fry. So it's fried in duck fat? Okay, I'm sorry. Let me get back to <laughs> Let me get back to Salima here. <laughs> that sounds so good. Oh my God. But um, yes, I have raved about Clay Depot, but that's because it's the newest of the two. Um, everybody here who has been here for a little bit knows that La Mer is like the supreme for me. I love her. <laughs> this is my girl for life. Nobody's better. It's like she's my foundation wife. She's my foundation wife. And I just be playing the field sometimes with these other girls out here. Cause you know, cause I be on tour and stuff and she understands. <laughs> but yeah, she's my one. She's the one. She's the one, <laughs> honestly. Um, in terms of consistency, because that's what I need. I need full coverage. Ooh. Okay, so you're asking me to die, David. Okay, you're asking for me to have a heart attack. But at the same time, I'm kind of intrigued. Okay, so you have tried it. I would say, honestly, just uh, Salima, compare them. Compare them um, because based on your needs, I feel like you can't go wrong with either one of these foundations. Um, Linda, yes, I would say it is um, good for oily skin. I would say it's better for oily skin than Clay de Poe. Because Clay de Poe is giving you some radiance. And um, you will most likely, if you are oily, like to the point where like you need to touch up no matter what foundation you use, then I would go with La Mer. Yeah, La Mer go crazy. Yes, it does. You're welcome, Selena. But yeah, here we are, you guys. I haven't done anything else. I haven't put any like eyes or anything else on. We just did complexion. So there we are. She's cute. Go outside and people think I have perfect skin. Foundation, what you talking about? Th this is the kind of face. <laughs> this is the kind of face that guys on the internet say they're looking for with a natural, like a woman who's natural. They think this is natural. <laughs> I can't help but laugh. Oh. All right, so let's throw a little something, something else on, huh? Let's do that. I'm just gonna do like, let's do like a single shadow or something. <laughs> oh, girl, thank you, thank you, D. Yeah, let's throw on a single shadow, um, and get ourselves out the door. 
<gasps> Wait a minute. Mother is coming to us with some heat. So let's use mother. This is, I did order the mega mothership, but from the Star Wars collection, I only have this one. Um, I didn't talk about the cup yet. I didn't talk about the cup yet, but I definitely plan to. I had Nala all day today, you guys. So that's why I'm coming to you guys kind of late in the day. Um, and that's why I wasn't able to, you know, give you guys the video today. I did plan on doing it. I'm sorry. But I am going to talk about the cup. As a matter of fact, I went through that aisle today because I picked up um, some penny liners from Cora. Cora is another brand that I really like. Um, organic cotton um, liners. Because even though, you know, I use the cup, I still, you know, I, sometimes ever since I've had a baby, um, sometimes if I sneeze, I need a little extra insurance, you know. So I always wear one of these. And now I'm um, using these. Uh, and these are only $5.99. And you get, how many you get in here? 40. That's a deal. Okay, so I am just gonna go in, you know, let's have some fun, why not? I like this girl right here. This is, um, what is this? Is this elect Electron, there we go, Electron. So I'm gonna, start am i you know what let's just use electron let's just be daring vicky come on girl <laughs> okay so electron and we're going in raw doggy with no primer we're just gonna hit them with the hit them with the electron oh freaking goodness <laughs> Why am I even shocked? Are you kidding me? Freaking Pat McGrath in the building. End of story. End of discussion. Period. And you, like, I haven't touched her in a while because I've been trying to show you guys, like, stuff as it releases and, you know, all that jazz, but just doubling back and being like, oh, God, I love her so much. This is why sometimes I just blind buy stuff because I'm just like, yo, she is so good. It does, yes. Um, it has both the six pans. It has this one and the one that was red, like red packaging. And then in the center, there's six brand new shades. Uh, it's definitely smaller pans. It's different packaging. Like the packaging is thinner so that she could provide a better price point for more people to access it. Uh, and I did order it. Um, I have not received the shipping confirmation, but you that's just what happens when you order from mother. So there we go. Uh, these are all shimmer shades, yes. Um, so I don't, I believe there's, is it three or five? I think it's three mattes. Three mattes in the new palette. So I'm just throwing that on there and just gushing. Am I not like just gushing? I'm going to throw the other purple shade in the middle and see what it does. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a minute. She's kind of deep. Let's put her on the outside. See, now I said one and done, and look at me here. Look at me here, just like reneging on what I said I was going to do. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, I can't help myself. This is so pretty. Just dabbing for a little dimension. Oh, hi. Hey, pretty girl. Pretty girl with the purple on her lids. Come on through and show them what you're working with. <laughs> oh. Hey, T. Thank you. 
Exactly. That's the thing. You can, like there's potential for it, but are you really going to? <laughs> no. So let's see, what else can I do? No, no, no. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to stop there. Just, okay. Two and through instead of one and done. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and um, something else I wanted to do is um, take some of this on the lower lash line. So let's do that too. Grab something that will allow me to do so. Yeah, I'll work with this. You should, it's still for sale. It did not sell out. I'm gonna take the darker shade on the lower lash line. Mm, wow, okay. Leah's lucky as heck. Do I have a Holy Grail favorite blush brand? Mm, NARS. They're just foolproof. NARS. I almost said Becca, but NARS beats Becca for me. Like if I'm going to reach for it, I reach for NARS. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I know that'll look just sickening and it's gonna pop like it's gonna pack a punch, you know. Readily available in a lot of places. Are you freaking kidding me with this lower lash line? I'm just gonna kind of round that out there. Yes, ma'am. And if I don't stop playing around, I'm gonna end up with this all the way at the top of my brow. They absolutely do, Cecilia. As a matter of fact, Coeur Batant is my favorite shade of all time from NARS. And it's one of the newer shades. When I saw that, I said, oh, you're not playing. And I love it. As soon as I finish this eye, I'll show y'all that shade. I did hear that one, uh, the grapefruit shade. Oh my gosh, Shy. The grapefruit shade from um, Laura Mercier. Where are we at? There we go. Yes, D, solid. Just so we're aware and like remembering that I just used two shades. I just used two shades. I used Electron and what is this other one? Um, Violet Void. Should I, should I hit it on the um, inner with something? Like what should I do? Should I? Do I need to? I don't feel like I need to. Maybe if I just, in, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the same shade I put on the main lid, but I am gonna um, use a more concentrated brush to do so. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a more concentrated brush. So this one here on the inner corner, I'm gonna really pack this brush. Boom. And we're gonna spray her a bit. And then <laughs> Mother F and mic drop. Mic drop. That's it. Same one. Same one. Mother. That's why she's mother. She's mother of makeup. As much as we, you know, hold her to a really high standard. And we complain with almost every release <laughs> about something. You know that you're about to get some popping product from Mother. And that's just it. You know? This was, this was a moment and it didn't even take that long. And nary a fallout. Mary. 
<laughs> like, stop playing with me, mother. Let's get this blush drawer out and let's talk. Let's talk blush. Ugh. Oh, Lord. Okay. Here we are. <laughs> it's my blush drawer. Whew. My word. So, yes, I have a few. It looks like I have six Becca's. But I have more. NARS because I have some palettes too. So for NARS, here's my singles. Hey, where's my boo SP? Hey! Oh, hey y'all, what's up? I'm wearing B90. <laughs> I'm gonna grab, um, very soon, we'll be grabbing the hourglass um, at night. Truly, Salima. Honestly, truly. <laughs> honestly, truly. So here's five of the NARS blushes. And then I'm just going to, before I show you what they look like, I'm just going to show you that I have, oh, Jesus, I didn't even realize I, wait a minute. Is one of these an eyeshadow palette? That's the blush one. So this is an eyeshadow palette. This is not blush. Or am I tripping? And it is, it is blush. Okay. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> here's a NARS blush palette. Here's a NARS blush palette. Here's a NARS blush palette. All right. So I swear by NARS blushes. Okay. I just needed y'all to see the proof. And here go my girl that did the fabulous review and comparison of the Supreme Lipstick Mother and Supreme collab. I didn't. I swear to you, I didn't know. Because I have another eyeshadow palette that looks very similar to this. But yes, yeah, so here are some blushes. These are baked, so they do come off a little more sheer, but they are buildable. You've got highlights in here as well. Um, I think out of all of these uh, palettes here, my favorite... Ooh, wait a minute, girl. Yeah, no, unlock the still. Um... Oh, I didn't even show it to you. I'm so sorry. I'm being selfish. Here you go. This one's not as pigmented as the first one, which is Unleashed. I'm sorry. Unleashed. This came in two um, colorways. And this is the one for deeper skin tones. And then there's another one for like light medium. This is Unfiltered Cheek Palette. This is one. And uh, Mo and I did a collaboration where she did two. I know you couldn't tell Salima. I'm real subtle about it. <laughs> <laughs> that is purple on my lids, Kelsey. Yes, I was using, um, did I put it away already? I think I was using this one right here and I just used the purples. But yeah, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. If you could still get, it was limited edition. So if you could find this, bomb. You get, it's such great value. I think it's 60 bucks and you're getting all of this and you know it's like $30 a pop for these. So this is a huge deal. This is exhibit, where's my finger? Okay, here's exhibit A. That's like literally the holy grail for deeper skin tones in terms of blush. Good night, Vanna's grand. So here we are, we've got exhibit A. Uh, we got chic in the center here. And then over here, you got out there. Mix them, layer them, um, you know, build up the, the color that you love. And then at the top, these are all shimmers. So you can use it as a cheek topper or you can use them as a highlight. You've got um, Takeover, Watch Me, and Me First. This is Takeover. This is Watch Me. And um, I'm sorry, this is Me First in the center. And then you have Watch Me. Dolce Vita is stunning. I also have Dolce Vita. So I didn't even count my dog on um, liquid blushes. Here we go. <laughs> we have Torrid and Dolce Vita. Like... These are amazing too. So, and Dolce Vita is that girl. Absolutely that girl. Yesterday, if you saw my, my post that I just did for the Sephora collaboration that I did, that's Torrid on my cheeks. Yeah, so literally the 50% of my drawer for blushes is NARS. Um, Coeur Baton, let's have a look at that girl. Ah, 
Aha. So. Here she is. Get a load of that. Let's just give her a minute. <gasps> no, T. Oh, I think I would have sat there and cried. I would have cried like they cried for old boy and boys in the hood. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> Yo, look at her. I'm just going to leave her up here for a minute because y'all got to get into this. Life. Wait, are you... This is... Let me see if I can bring it up to the screen and it'll actually stay in focus. Coer Batant, if you... If you speak French, you can give me the proper pronunciation, but that's what I'm seeing with my Americanness of it all. <laughs> Hello, Azri. Should we wear this one? Let's put this one on. Let's put this one on, darlings. Okay. Nice soft layer starting off. Let's, I mean, I'm obviously going to build her up because, I mean, she's perfect. Yes, J Chronicles, this will definitely stain, but whoo, ciao. Just a little more. I am such a blush fanatic. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Get into it. Mm. Mm. Oh, I love it so much. It has just a little bit of purple, just a touch. Oh, Germ said that um, Nordy's is price matching clay to poke concealers, you guys. So if you're still interested, this is like, oh, let me flip it over. There we go. And you're thinking it's going to be like, oh, gosh, I'm scared to throw that on my cheeks. But, you know, they're buildable. Okay, do I have it even? Yeah, yeah. Whew, I love it. That's just, it's over. It's over. And you know what else would look really pretty as a highlight with this? Let me get her. Give me one second. Hold on, we're, we're building the suspense. Oh. Savage. So let's grab So we're going to take Savage, which is very close to my skin tone. But it gives me just enough bronze goodness to do something on top of, look at that. Look, 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 look. Woo. Listen. One more time for the one time. Germ, don't do that. Don't get me all, don't make me, because I'll do it. <laughs> Salima, all right, well, enjoy. Enjoy your Zoom Zumba, your Zoom Zumba. <laughs> Thank you so much. You have a good night. Y'all, this is Savage. Classy, bougie ratchet. <laughs> Because I'm silly. But here you go. This is what she looks like in the pan. <laughs> you got this, Azri. You got this. I know you. Look at it. Oh, 
NARS, NARS, NARS. That's another brand where no matter what they put out, I will, I will at least try it. I, I make a beeline for certain sections when I go into Sephora and NARS is one of them. Let me see what they're doing over there. Let me see what they're talking about. Let me see what NARS got. Like I always do that. They just, they just married. Love it for sight type tees. This is so pretty, man. And you know what else I'm gonna do y'all? Just for the fun of it, just cause we are having fun with makeup today and we are being glittery and fantastical. All right. And because I just want to use her, I'm going to take Orgasm X and I am going to dust her in the other areas of my face that need highlight. All right. Just a teensy bit. Since I have a bit of a reddish undertone, like just a taste, I'm going to throw her on. I might have done a little too much on my nose. Give me a second. I went I went I went a little off. <laughs> I went a little extra. So let me just back back that up a little bit. Relax, Vicky. Relax yourself, girl. There we go. We're gonna, we're gonna dial it back a taste. There we go. Pauline's in the building. Hello, Anna Marie. Oh yeah, yeah. They were they were like doing the thing on singles. Like I really didn't invest in singles like that, but I would definitely buy. Yeah, just whatever's left. I'm gonna throw the orgasm X on my chin. See that? The undertones of it all are what really turn me on about NARS. Like they just do it. They do it. Oh, I can't even deal. So we've got, who, who do we have going on right now? <laughs> we have mother on the lids. I need to like blend a little more. We have mother on the lids. Let me get a clean brush. Uh... A clean blending brush. We have Mother on the lids. We have Clay de Poe on the face, like for the full complexion. Of course, my trusty, pardon, my trusty Natasha Denona contour. We have Gucci, Gucci Gang for the uh, bronzer. And then NARS hit us with the cheeks <laughs> um, on the highlight and blush of it all. So I think we work, we are working with some, some greats, truly. I'm just gonna give myself a quick little blend with a clean brush right there because I'm not loving the the way that looks. So let me just because I got way too daggone uh, excited. I like that better. Just gonna clean that up a taste. All right. Let's get these brows together. Received delivery confirmation from Beautylish. I have received neither. I'm gonna hit myself one more time. Since I have um, my good sis here, since I have KBJ in the building, let's see which one of these because this is a Kelsey made me buy it. Let's see one of these power kiss powder kiss liquid lips will go with our look. They do SP. They take forever. Let's see. I think this one here, the, uh, is this crossfade? I think crossfade is going to work. So let me blot. Y'all should see this table. It is a fright. <laughs> I'm just glad you're happy with your purchases. That's the most important thing. I think this is gonna work. Let's see. It'll be like, a, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I might add a little liner to this, but I think this is cute. She's, 
Wait a minute. I got to put that up there. You are hilarious. <laughs> Not Royal CP. <laughs> that is hilarious. You kill me. Oh, yeah. I don't even need a lighter with this. It's just doing its own ombre. Well, all right. Well, all right, Nat. Hi. She's cute. And I'm living. Oh, wow. Okay. Get your life with that. Did I put too much on? It didn't do this the first time I put it on. Give me the line. I wonder if it's because of what I had on first. But I like the lipstick color. I think it's what I had on before this. Because I did not have this happen the first time I put this on. Super cute. It's like a nude, but it's giving you a little more color. Because it's not a nude but the tone in relation to the eye look is giving you nude. All right. Let me tidy up just a taste. So thank you. That's Crossfade by MAC from their Powder Kiss Liquid Lip. I didn't know that she was half uh, Jamaican. I am stacking my NARS blushes and such back in here. Is that everybody? No, sure isn't. I have my Natasha Denuna, Charlotte, and Tom Ford. All right, now we're we're all packed up. Let's put that back and oh, goodness gracious! And then since we're done with this drawer as well. Put her back to so here we are um of course i need liner um brows etc and that's where this drawer comes in I'm trying to clean as i go because i'm about to need reinforcements to help me keep this baby away from my jewelry. I mean, my makeup. <laughs> yes, we do. You will hear nary a complaint from me. What else should we do? Should we add some razzle dazzle? I feel like we should, you know, I feel like something else needs to happen. Let me see. I got this from This one here from Mark Jacobs. This one. Oh my God. Well, that, that tells me what's going on with this one. All right, there we go. There we go. Delivery may be delayed. There's that. <laughs> is this the purple one? Is this perpetrator? No, that's big truffle. Perpetrator, here we go. Perpetrator. Oh, Natasha. Um, my makeup organizers are from Sephora. And yes, they're stackable. So you can choose a single drawer or you can choose the compartment drawer that has three. It has like a slightly bigger one. And then the other side, like it's split evenly, but one side has two drawers, one has one. Um, I have five of those. And then I have a really big organizer that's two slim drawers. And then it has an organizer on top of it, but they're both from Sephora. <laughs> Thank you, Yaya. <laughs> 
You like the last one, hair, uh, T? Well, okay. I mean, since she's open, let's do that. Oof, goodness gracious. These, all of these have staying power, so I had to get my scrub on. Okay, so uh, Fenty Beauty Fly Liner Pencil in Perpetrator. It's giving me depth, but it's also still allowing the sparkle to come through. Did y'all see that Sephora is still on her buy your discount BS? Oh, wow. That actually turned out really well. Better than I expected. I need twenty five. I need twenty five. Twenty cinco. It's like, don't you know that the more discount you give me, the more I'm going to buy? Don't you know that? You should know that. You should know that. All of you. Can I twist it up? Let me see. Wow. Perpetrator is so beautiful. It's like a, if there was such a thing as a neutral purple, it's just so good. All right, all right. We're almost done. We are going to put some mascara on. And since we're doing NARS, we're doing a lot of NARS. Let's go in here uh, and do the, um, do the climax thing. Just gonna curl my lashes a little bit. This was not supposed to turn into this kind of look. I said when I came on here that I was just gonna give y'all a little, a little neutral, a little natural something. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly, Pauline, especially with all the competition they have right now. I'm gonna do a, a vlog on my birthday and then I'll do like a haul at the end of the vlog. So like a two-parter kind of deal. Unless you guys want me to do the live, like a live haul, I can, I'm down for that. Cause aside from a meet and greet, I don't really intend on going much of anywhere. All right. Lashes are curled. Let's wipe the brush off here. Climax mascara. I think that I would purchase Audacious again before I purchase Climax again. As much as it's pretty, but I liked um, the separation better with Audacious.
Uh, D, there is somewhat of a meet and greet. I plan on um, doing like a meetup kind of thing for my birthday so that we can kind of, anybody who is near uh, Boston, you know, come through and we can go get get a little shopping happening. Maybe have a little, little something to eat. Mm. And usually I don't have to dip back in, but let's see what happens. This is where I usually mess up. This is my janky eye, where my lashes like to go everywhere. And I feel like, you know, let me just go ahead and be a little bougie and use another, use my favorite <laughs> mascara for my lower lash line, which is Gucci. I think I may have to say goodbye to this a little sooner than expected because it is getting dry on me. germ that's that part because i was cracking up on sp nation's last video <laughs> cracking up We're good on that, on the uh, mascara. And I guess, yeah, let's do my brows. Cause what the heck's happening up there? Gucci gang. Let's throw a little something, something on these brows. I'm going in reverse just to fill things in. Thank you, Anna Marie. Thank you so much. This is that part where we concentrate. of this brow. You give me so many problems. I will settle for that. That's fine. I'm I'm actually not going anywhere this time.
All right, all right. I'd actually enjoy um, a Best of Beauty from for specifically geared towards deeper skin tone. Welcome back, Dawn. Yeah, girl, we're wrapping up. I'm just throwing on some brow gel. <laughs> that is really it. Exactly it. You got to really concentrate. Between this and um, putting on eyeliner, those are the two. And lashes, too. You really got to concentrate. Let's make sure that all my little curls are in place. And they are. I do need to trim my lashes because child. Child and total help me sing. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not going to put on any lashes. I'm not going anywhere. So no lashes for me. Um, this is it. This is the look, y'all. So, in conclusion, <laughs> in conclusion, Clay de Poe B90 is definitely, definitely the perfect match for me from the range. So, this is truly a look. And now, your girl will be snacking on some peach rings <laughs> because we're done. That's all she wrote. Man, listen. Mm. Oh, look at me with a little bit of, look at me with a little bit of um, healthiness in my snack. There's, there's beet sugar in here. <laughs> Whatever. These are so delicious. Like, even when you open the bag, they smell so good. Oh, these are watermelon rings. No wonder I enjoy them. Truly. Germ. Germ. I have three left. <laughs> and they do match my makeup. Yes, they do. Coordination. <laughs> oh, Joy, you're so sweet. Guys, always enjoy hanging with you. I think tomorrow I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go apple picking with Nala. I'll vlog it just in case, you know, just in case I need the footage. And, um, I showed you guys in my last live when I hauled all that stuff for her from Random Outlet that I picked up a cute little like corduroy jumper with apples on it. So she's going to wear that tomorrow with some tights um, and her little, I'm going to do her silver boots. I think so. Yeah. Either that or her ladybug um, or her ladybug rain boots, you know, depending on the weather. I gotta show you guys one more thing. Check this thing out. This is for Nala, of course. This holds her tablet when she's sitting at the table because she sits at the table next to me all the time when I'm working. So instead of her tablet, you know, her having to hold it or it falling over, it's gonna sit right here. And then her little dolls that she likes to play with, pockets. Pockets for the dolls. And a, and a big back pocket here for whatever else she wants. Books, um, a, a game, coloring, whatever. $18.99 at Target. Because Target gets you. They get you. I was on my way out the damn store. I was headed towards the checkout when I saw that. When you don't go in Target with a plan, 
that's what happens. <laughs> so in conclusion, have a game plan when you take your butt in Target. <laughs> Anywho, you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking around till the end. If you like this video, let me know by liking the video. And don't forget to subscribe and become a J-Bay and chit-chat and all that with us on a regular basis. Y'all. And if you don't know, my baby is an actress. She is on episode six, season two of Babies on Netflix. About 38 minutes in. So y'all go right on. Check my little baby girl out. Mm -hmm. I'll see you later. No one's here. I have no distractions. So I will be working on links to the products that I wore today in this video. Bye.